Mr. Speaker, I rise today in strong support of legislation before us. We're living in uncertain times. This virus has drastically reshaped each one of our communities, and there's likely more change to come. Today, Americans need us. They need the support and resources provided by this bipartisan legislation. They need access to protective equipment, a personal safety net, and economic assistance. Workers need assurances that their economic security is paramount because it is the American worker at the cornerstone of our economy. In this bill, I fought so that trade workers and engineers employed at New Mexico's national labs can continue protecting our national security mission. We cannot let them down. We must pass this bill for the teacher who is delivering meals to students to make sure they don't go hungry just because they're not in the classroom. We must pass this bill for nurses, doctors, healthcare professionals, and first responders who haven't slept as they provide for the sick. We must pass this bill for rural communities who need the lifeline to ensure seniors are fed and individuals can access health care when the nearest doctor is hundreds of miles away. We must pass this for everyone who is fighting to keep one another safe, healthy, and afloat. We cannot let them down. The reality we wake up to each day may change, but what remains the same is that we face this crisis together. And like every crisis we have faced before, we will get through this together. Passage of this legislation is an important step, but I want every New Mexican and every American to know that we understand this uncertain time demands an extraordinary response. And together, we will not let each other down, and we will meet that challenge. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. The